Good morning, snuggle bugs. Welcome to hiking with me. There's the Hollywood sign if you could see it. Look what a gorgeous day it is. Oh, and look who came to greet me. The sun, God, my father. I just told him right now, I said, you know, sometimes as you give, you give so much of your spirit because it's your calling and then sometimes you just want to hug too. And I looked at him, I'm like, I, him meaning the sun, God. And I just said, there's still the little girl in me that still just wants to be hugged and held too, you know? And I think that a lot of it has to do with um, uh, my molestation as a child uh, because family, it's, it's a difficult thing because family doesn't know how to handle it. My family handled it very well, meaning, you know, they believed me, we went and caught the guy, took him to jail, all that kind of stuff, did the whole court case, everything. But nobody knows how to handle their emotions, so it's either let's ignore the situation completely, like not really talk about it, which is one side, and then the other side, like angry and trying to find some sort of fault somewhere and then questioning a child, like, you know, and so you grow up on some level perhaps and not everybody I'm talking about myself like feeling like you I knew I wasn't at fault but there's a part of you because people didn't have to handle their emotions that you're like was it my fault and at the same time you're like I just wanted to be hugged I didn't want it to be ignored I didn't want to feel like shameful all that kind of stuff so there's sometimes that little girl that still comes up and's like I just want a hug too you know so that's how I just I just ended up crying which is nothing wrong with crying sometimes it feels so good to do that and that's part of releasing that's part of letting go that's part of embracing who you are what you're feeling because as soon as you confront it and embrace and you can just as easily let it go and be like all right you're there you showed up how you doing let's send you off on your way now you know but the moment that you ignore it and deny it it's gonna keep popping back up and it's gonna pop up in ways when you're not expecting it which is then going to lead to other behaviors because you're not facing it and looking at it but that's not at all what I want to talk about today God this started off woo everybody happy now um, no but I wanted to talk about our lives bumps in the road I'm walking up this big mountain and thinking about how grateful I am for my life and then thinking about somebody on the outside thinking she doesn't have her dream job, which as most of you know, is, you know, a television talk show platform, like an Oprah Winfrey-esque, Oprah Winfrey Network, as well as a platform like a Tony Robbins, a Joel Osteen, that kind of thing. Uh, but then at the same time, I hand it all over and say, whatever, my, God has bigger plans for me than I have for myself. So letting that go. So people might understand, oh my God, she waits tables, you know, she struggles financially, all this stuff. And I was the same way. And what I'm here to say is that until you're okay with where you are, then you can keep go reaching and striving and wanting and you get to that place that you're working towards and as soon as you're there, you're like, hmm. Suddenly you're like everything you thought that you were gonna be and that you were gonna feel, you don't. You still feel unfulfilled. You've gotta find the joy and the fulfillment right now in where you are, wherever you are in your life. Even if your life right now seems a little dark and bleak, you gotta know that it gets better. You gotta know that you have everything that you already need within you, within your spirit, within your soul. There is nothing that you need on the outside. You just need to dig deep, find that within you, find it, find it, dig for it, get it. It's yours. Okay, now I'm like, woo, everybody, a little pumped up from exercising. But also, you might be looking at your life right now and there's some bumps in the road or huge craters, whatever you decide to look at them as. Uh, you know, they could be these giant speed bumps that you speed right up to and go over or you can prepare for them. Once you understand that in life, shit happens. There's certain things that you cannot control. All you can control is the way that you react, although react always sounds negative, that you, the way you respond to a situation. And so once you realize that shit happens, you can be more prepared in life. It's like when it's gonna rain, do you like throw in the towel when a storm's coming, going, oh my God, I'm never going out of the house again? Or do you get prepared for it? You get your umbrella, you get your boots, whatever it is that you wear in the rain. You might leave a little early for work, you put your windshield wipers on, you prepare for it, but it doesn't ruin your whole entire life. So why, when a situation comes into your life, do you allow that to ruin it? You know the rain is gonna pass. You know the sun's gonna come back out. You know that every situation in your life changes. The whole life is cyclical. And as soon as you can stop seeing your life as this oh my God, this torturous thing and everything bad happens and just look at it as experiences, as ways to grow and some, you know, are harder than others, but you get through them all. Life becomes so much more enjoyable and you can actually enjoy the journey and not just wait, wait, wait till things happen and then you get there and then you want something else. See what I'm saying? I'm talking a lot. Happy day, everybody. 
just go easy on yourself. Enjoy your life more. Love your life more. Be kind to yourself. And remember, the moment that that little bugger, the little burger, your ego comes into play, just say, hi, I have no time for you today. My spirit's in charge and we got big plans for the day. <laughs> have a beautiful day, everybody. Bye.